so as you watch this now it is the end of April which I cannot believe this year has gone so fast but it's end of April so that means it's my pretty favourite times. So here are some bits I've been enjoying through April. I kind of got a bit of everything thrown in there. There's not actually that much so this probably will be quite a short video but yeah there are the bits. First I'm going to start with beauty. I have the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette and that just looks like this. I'm sure a lot of you have seen this palette before, it's quite known in the world of beauty. It smells like chocolate, it's, it smells delicious. Um, I didn't go out intending to buy this, I went and wanted to buy the Hangover, hangover, hangover Primer thing. Yeah. So I went to buy that and the lady said if I bought something else I got a free um, lip product and better than sex mascara and I really wanted to try the better than sex mascara. They were just like miniatures but I thought I might as well buy something else. So I picked up the chocolate bar palette. All them. As you would have seen from my palette collection video last week I really didn't need another palette but I saw this and I just thought I'd get it. It's lovely, I've been using it loads, so it's kind of all of these colours. I'm going to write a blog post on this as well, so I'm, that will probably be out by now, so I will link that blog post below. Um, I'll just talk you through some of my favourites ones I've kind of been reaching for. So I've been going for, for Hazelnut, Creme Brulee, Marzipan and Amaretto the most. They're all kind of neutral shades, a lot of them are purple tones. And yeah, they're all very pretty as a mixture of mattes and shimmers. Um, it's the first time I've used Too Faced eyeshadow before and they're really good. They're really pigmented, they blend really well and you've literally achieved any look with this palette. So it's great. It's got like some dark colours in, some light colours, some bright colours. Just a bit of everything. It's nice, it smells good, they're good quality. I've been using it loads, so I'm really happy I bought that. Next beauty thing I've got is from Too Faced as well, and I am wearing it today, I'm not sure how well you can see on camera. But you know, I said that I got the free lip product and mascara when I bought the palette and the primer. Well, I was expecting to love the mascara and not really think anything of the lip product, but I have actually fallen in love with the lip product. I have only got the miniature, which is the one I got free, and it's the uh, Melted Liquefied Longwear Lipstick in the shade Peony. And it's just a really pretty pale pink. There's a little sponge applicator, so it goes on really nicely. It's not drying on the lips. It doesn't last that long, but it's such a pretty shade and I struggle to find a uh, like pastel pink shade which suits me. Right, I think this one really does. So I'm going to buy the full size soon. This is pretty loose. People have said to me when I've been wearing it that they like to colour my lips. It's kind of, it's really subtle, so you can wear it kind of instead of a nude, but it does have a lot of pink to it. It's just a very pastel pink. It's really pretty. I'm definitely going to be buying it full size soon. I have been looking for this colour of ages and I haven't been able to find what I'm looking for. And this was just happened to be the one I got free and it is perfect so I'm so happy with that. The next beauty product I've got are eyelashes. It is these ones. Sorry they've kind of fallen out of the packaging a bit. It is the uh, Isla Flip Flow. I can't say her name. Fleur de Force Eyelashes in Simply Flow and they're so pretty. I'll pop in here a little insert of me putting them on and them on but yeah these are so pretty they're so um understated they look like you've got eyelashes but they look so natural that I've been kind of looking for a false eyelash I can wear during the day I haven't found any they all look like I was wearing eyelashes which is great if you're going on a night out but day to day I don't really want it to look like I'm wearing eyelashes but these are really subtle and you can hardly see them when you put them on. They're really easy to apply, really lightweight, you can feel them. And these are the only eyelashes which I've put on and I've not found I've needed to um, put liquid eyeliner on to kind of cover up the line. So they're really pretty so. Um, to apply false eyelashes this is a bit off the 
bit off the subject, but to apply false eyelashes, I always use my fingers rather than tweezers, and I find that much easier. I find it easier to be precise with my fingers, so if you have trouble applying false eyelashes with tweezers, try using your fingers. They're really, really nice. I like them. Next, I have a nail polish, which I am wearing today. It's probably wearing quite nicely because I'm all for doing my nails. But this is um, the new Barry M range, the Coconut Infusion. And this is the shade, I don't know where the shade name is. It doesn't say the shade name, which is really weird. Maybe it was on a sticker which has come off. I'll write the shade name down below or I'll write it in here somewhere. And this is just a nude nail polish. I'm not usually into nude nail polishes, but I got this one because I thought it would be good for work. Um, obviously, I, want, I didn't want dramatic nails for work, really. And I really like this new coconut infusion range. It does feel like it's healthier for my nails. My nails feel stronger when I use it. My nails are a bit crappy and weak, so I think it's perfect. And also, if you're in a rush, you don't want to be putting on a base coat. It just takes more time. This kind of does that for you. And yeah, I like the colour. I like that. I've also got a pink one from the range as well. I've only worn that one twice, so I've kind of been reaching for this one over and over again, and I really enjoy this. So yeah, um, I'm going to get more from that range because I like it. I do feel like they are good for my nails. My nails don't feel weak when I take them off, and also, they don't smell as strong as normal nail polishes, which is definitely a plus. I'm whizzing through these, I don't have any left now. Next is a bit of a random one, it is a room spray. It is a Neil Yard Organic Aromatherapy Room Spray. Um, it's supposed to be calming and it is like, it does fall down into the room and you're like, ah. um, But the reason why I like this is I actually, I can't remember where I was, but I went somewhere and I sprayed um, the This Works Pillow Spray just to see what it smelled like because I was interested to get some. It smelled very similar to this. I don't really know how to describe them to see if it's done. It's got rose, flower oil, I don't know, it's, it's like, it smells quite lavendery, but it doesn't say lavender in the ingredients, it says all rose, but I'm going to write a description or a link you to this below because what I can describe the scent that is very kind and smell quite floral, not too overpowering. But yeah, I went um, and sprayed the This Works Play Spray and it's not very similar to this. So rather than buying that as well, I've kind of been spraying this around my room before bed and like onto my pillow and things. And I know it's not a pillow spray, I know it's just a room spray, but it does kind of help me feel more settled before bed. It's quite a Obviously, it's a car with room spray, so it's quite a relaxing scent. So, I've been enjoying spraying that before bed. The next one is this. Almost got now. This is something I have loved for ages. It's the original source coconut and shea butter shower gel. And I love this. I love coconut scented things. Yeah, I love coconut scented things. Uh, whenever I have a shower I'm like excited to use this it smells so nice I love coconut scented things if anyone knows of any like nice body lotions that are coconut scented please let me know because I'm all for smelling like a coconut yeah I like this it's always cheap it's always on offer and boots are super dry for like a pound it smells delicious and yeah it is great and it's vegan and natural and made in the UK and I smell good when I use it and I like having a shower so that I can use it. It's good. Go and smell it. It's great. Next I've got some earrings and they're so small you're probably not going to be able to see them but I will insert close up. They're little tiny golden daisies and I got these from Whistles. I On the Whistles website they had these a matching necklace and a matching bracelet and they were all on sale. Um, but I didn't buy them when I saw them straight away and when I went back they only had the earrings on sale so I picked up the earrings and they're really sweet. What I love about these as well is the actual um, like pokey, what's it called, the bit which goes in your ear. 
because at the top of the daisy so you can so they kind of hang down rather than in the centre. I think it's really sweet, they kind of yeah drop down a little. I love daisies so I'm very excited for these. Um, yeah and they didn't have the necklace or the bracelet in stock when I went back on the Whistles website which was a bit annoying because I wanted them all but I got the earrings anyway and I've been getting loads of wear out of them. They're kind of they're nice because they're elegant and they're subtle and pretty you could kind of wear them for anything and yeah they're really sweet. But then I did remember that ASOS do whistles so I then got the necklace. On the ASOS website though it wasn't on sale which was really annoying and they didn't have the bracelet at all they had the necklace and it wasn't on sale but I wanted it anyway so I just paid the original price and yeah it's just the same daisy pendant on a necklace it's quite a fine gold chain and it's got three little places you can kind of do it up so you can have it three different lengths um, all three of the lengths that I like and it is like none of them are awkward lengths they all think a length I like I've been wearing it a lot on the shortest one and it's quite it's quite in a subtle chain as well because it's so fine which I just think is really sweet very neat I love a good daisy so I've been wearing that loads so I have been loving those so I've been wearing them separately together and yeah it's nice to have a lot of my necklaces so it's nice to have some gold as well okay so that is all the kind of physical things I've got in front of me to show you but I have a few notes on my phone and things that I've been enjoying so I'm gonna just have a little look oh no I've got one more thing I can show you forgot about that the next is a style piece it is a jumpsuit it's behind me here it's a black jumpsuit gold buttons down the front, it's got a little keyhole at the back and long quite flared trousers, I'll insert a little thing of you wearing it, it'll probably be a group picture with friends. I was going to do a cutaway but um, I wanted to include it in a lookbook video which I'll be doing soon so I didn't see the point in doing a cutaway because you'll all see it that so keep an eye out for it and when it does go live I will also put a link to that down below. I wore that when I went out for my friend's birthday and usually I'm the kind of skirts and dresses and shorts kind of girl. I never normally have my legs covered. Um, I know that sounds stupid if I don't. I normally have I normally have my legs out or tights on. I don't own many pairs of jeans, I don't really wear jeans, I don't own any trousers. Um, but I saw that in H&M and it was on sale for 10 pounds so I thought I'd just try and see what it's like and it's so nice. It's a bit long on me because I'm quite sure but when I wore it I wore it with heels. Um, it fits really nicely, everybody complimented me when I was wearing it. And my friend said she felt like she was going to the Oscars with me so I don't know whether I like it because it's a bit different from what I usually wear which kind of made it a bit more exciting for me to wear but I really enjoy that. So yeah, really loved wearing that. Um, yeah, and keep an eye out for the video with it in. That is definitely a style favourite of mine. And I have my YouTube favourites. Um, this month are Lily and Anna, as in Lily Pebbles and Baby Anna does makeup. I have been obsessed with both of them on literally everything from Snapchat, on YouTube, on their blogs. I just think they're both great, they're both so normal and nice and I've been watching a lot of Lily's kind of, sorry not Lily's, Anna's fitness things which I love and I really love Lily's style. Um, it's complete opposite to my style but that's what I like about it and I wish I could get away with wearing the things she wears. And yeah, I've been watching both of their vlogs a lot as well. I went back to Anna's vlogs, like, to her first ever vlog and I've been watching them from the start. I'm like a little crazy fangirl. And also I think it's really sweet because whenever I kind of put them in tweets and things, they, oh, they tend to most of the time acknowledge that I've done it, they'll favourite the tweet or retweet it or reply and it's just, it's just sweet. They're just, they just seem so nice and normal and I want to be friends with them. 
and their videos are good and they dress nice and they look nice and they are I don't know. I'm I'm just really jealous of them as well. Like they both just seem to have really nice, cute little lives. Oh, my last one is um my Snapchat, which I don't normally put on my favourites, but Snapchat I've been enjoying watching is um Shay Mitchell who is Emily in Pretty Little Liars. If you watch my video you know I love Pretty Little Liars. Not my video, my videos. You know I love Pretty Little Liars. I've been watching Shay's Snapchats, that's really hard to say. She's so funny, she like uses filters to create characters and obviously because she's an actor she gets the characters to have conversations with each other and it is hilarious. I love watching that, I find it so funny. I think Snapchat's great because you get to see like famous people just being people. Like you know I mean you see them outside, they're kind of they're just their life. You don't have to see like what they're like when they're acting or when they're on TV, it's just when they're just living. <laughs> you know, you get me. Um yeah, so that's great. So follow her on Snapchat, she's really funny. I think it's just Shane Mitchell, I don't know. Yeah. She's great. Um and also, I another favourite of mine is Snapchat. I've only recently really got into Snapchat. Like, I've always watched them, but I've not really done my own. But recently, I have been putting my own Snapchat stories up a bit. A lot of them are more photos than videos because I feel a bit weird, like, doing videos. I don't know why on Snapchat when sometimes I carry a camera around with me and vlog. But I've been putting a lot more on Snapchat. So, go follow me on there. I think it's just Chloe Hayfield. And that is my favourites. I've been a bit distant from my vlog recently, but I'm going to go away from this and write a few blog posts. So I'm going to get back fully into the swing of blogging. So if you don't follow my blog, go and follow it now because there is a lot of stuff coming up. Um, and that is chloeharriot.blogspot.com and I'll link that down below as well. Everything I've mentioned will be linked down below. If you have enjoyed this video, it would be really, really fabulous if you could subscribe. My battery is flashing red, so I'm going to have to go now. I hope you had a good month, and I will see you next week. Bye!